guys, it's me, Sam, and look, I'm back. It hasn't been like four months this time. I told you I was going to try and keep up with this channel because I really, really want to grow my channel really, really bad. Um, but I know I took a really long hiatus before and I'm going to try not to do that again. So here I am. I'm back again with another video for you guys. And I thought since the paranormal, paranormal vlog that I did got the most views um, and Probably the most likes. I don't know yet. Um, I gotta go back and check. But I think people really enjoyed it. Uh, people love paranormal stuff. I know I do. I can sit there and watch paranormal videos all day long on YouTube. And so, since I've never <laughs> experienced anything myself, I really like to hear other people's stories. And so, I thought I would do that for you guys. Um, now, like I said in my first paranormal vlog, I never experienced anything for myself uh, that's that I would consider paranormal. Now I've had a few creepy incidences, but I can't sit there and say that, oh, that's paranormal because I don't know if it was or not. It could totally be my imagination or it could be pipes or, you know, stuff like that. Um, but I will tell you a few more stories from my family um, that's happened to my family in the past that I think is paranormal and they think it's paranormal. And I hope you guys enjoy this. So here it is, my second paranormal vlog. Now, the first couple stories I'm going to tell you, this happened to my uncle uh, many, many, many moons ago, <laughs> many years ago. Um, and I guess I'll start off with the one that happened the longest time ago. Um, when my uncle was younger, like in his early 20s, I'm in my early 20s now, so you, you can imagine that. I was probably not even born yet. My uncle and his friends were driving down the highway. And they thought it'd be really funny to recite the, I'm pretty sure it was, um, the Hail Mary. I think that's what it's called. And they decided they were going to recite it backwards. And so they started reciting it backwards. And before he was able to finish, the tire popped on their car. Like, it blew out and they spun off the highway. Luckily, nobody was injured. But I think that really freaked them out. And I don't think he ever tried that again. But... Boys being boys at that young age, they think stuff's funny and they can mock whatever they want. Now, I don't know if any of, anybody out there is religious or not. And if you are, cool. If you're not, that's cool too. Um, I don't know how you would think about this if you're not religious. But that's what happened. They start reciting the, the prayer backwards and then all of a sudden their tire, boop, had popped. Don't do that. Okay? Don't. Don't mock. Don't mock. Even if, even if you don't believe it, don't mock it. Okay? It's just not right. Just like if you don't believe in, you know, God, you know, nobody should mock you for that either. You know, if you don't believe, that's fine. If you do, that's fine. Okay? Don't mock it, though. Don't mock people's beliefs. The second thing that's happened to my uncle when he was really young, him and his friends, again, <laughs> around that same time, knew about this satanic church that was down this really long dirt road. And I'm pretty sure this is when my family still lived in Georgia. I'm not sure. That's where they live now. But they live there and then they moved back up here. Uh, and then they moved back. So, but I think this is when they were still living in Georgia. But they knew about this satanic church. And I guess boys being boys again, decided they wanted to go visit this satanic church. And like I said, you have to go down this really long dirt road and when I say rural dirt road I mean a dirt road um and <laughs> there was three attempts made they tried it three different times and I believe the first time the car stalled and uh the second time I'm pretty sure the car stalled again and then the third time they tried to go down this same dirt road they got a flat tire and so after the third time they were like, fuck it, nope, we're not meant to get on there, we're, we're going back home. I would just say, just don't mess with anything that you don't understand. I don't know about any satanic churches that are very friendly. Although I don't really know any satanic churches, but I wouldn't think that they would be very friendly to just people walk, wanting to look at their church and stuff like that. And to me, that just seems really evil. Like, your car stalling and your tires busting and stuff like that just don't meddle in creepy shit like that just don't don't you're gonna get hurt that was a sign like don't go down there it was a sign and he left they left um and the third thing i'm gonna tell you about 
and this happened to my uncle yeah he's had a lot of weird creepy stuff then again he kind of brought all that upon himself you know um but the third thing that's happened to him is um at one point in his life he was feeling really really down and really really depressed and i feel like when you're really down and depressed that is like your weakest moment and i feel like if there is anything evil out there that's probably when they're going to come to you you know like be drawn to you because you're at your weakest your lowest point and he was he was at his lowest point and he was in the bathroom i'm pretty sure and there's like a couch in the bathroom that was like behind them behind him not behind them behind him and he said he remembers looking in the mirror and saying like he would sell his soul to the devil if he could find a job and then right after that he said he saw a man sitting in that sitting on the couch behind him or a chair and he was like all in like dark clothing like dark stuff um he didn't get that good of a look at him but he said he was all in black like and he turned around to like look at him and he was gone and then i believe it was like a week later he got a job creepy so don't say that either don't play around with that don't play around with evil things all right the next story that i'm going to tell you happened to my aunt bell my aunt bell she's a very very religious person and so is her husband and her husband's family um very very religious catholic um people and one day uh, they i believe they still live in the same house or they might have moved out i don't remember i haven't really talked to her recently and this is a story that i was told when i was really young well actually it wasn't that young because this didn't happen that happened a couple of years ago not too long ago though so i wasn't too young um but one day she said like she woke up like randomly like just like you know you just kind of sit up and you're like kind of startled like you know something you know something woke you up but you don't know what it was so she randomly like woke up and she said that she was frozen like she couldn't move anything she couldn't speak she couldn't move she couldn't even turn her head like anything and she was like that for a couple of seconds and then this really evil like man voice it was male's voice screamed at her and it said take her and get out and it screamed it and then after it screamed she was able to move again and she said she was so scared that like i guess she had fallen asleep on the couch or something so she ran in and like told her husband like what happened and after that they had her husband's parents who are very very religious they had him them come in with a priest and like bless their house and stuff so that's really creepy. I mean, how would you like that if you woke up and you were like frozen and you couldn't move and then all of a sudden you just hear this really evil voice like, scream at you. Now, I know I've heard other stories like that where like sleep paralysis where you, you know, you're awake but you can't move, um, which I don't think this was that, obviously because she had sat up first and then all of a sudden she couldn't move. So obviously if you're having sleep paralysis, you're not going to be able to sit up. But I don't know, that just, ugh, that creeps me out really bad, like not being able to move scary scary shit the last story that i want to talk about is something that i believe it was like my aunt cheryl my aunt bell and like my uncle pete and i think a couple of their friends they all did it together i'm not sure who all was in it. i know it was like my aunt cheryl my uncle pete was there i'm pretty pretty sure but it was when they were really young so this happened many years ago when they were like teenagers and they all got together with their friends and they had a ouija board okay and we all know ouija boards are considered toys but they're really not toys uh, at least f for me you guys might not feel the same way but i feel like ouija boards are like gateways you know like you just open up the door and just because you're looking for a certain someone doesn't mean that's going to be the one that you're going to get i mean it could be anybody well they're all playing with this ouija board and i don't think anything creepy happened like I think there were, I don't think any, I think maybe like the candles like blew out while they were playing it and they kind of got creeped out or whatever, but nothing serious happened. Nothing really bad happened. And so they took the Ouija board back home and, uh, later on that night, um, I believe it was my aunt Belle who woke up. He's my aunt, my aunt Belle who woke up and like, it was burning, like burning up in the room, like super hot. And I guess they heard like something or felt something in there and like they were sh her and my I believe yeah it was my aunt Belle and my aunt Cheryl shared a room and uh they were too scared to like get up and like go get my grandma and so like they were like screaming for her 
for like half an hour before my and my grandma's a light sleeper but for some reason she couldn't hear them like she couldn't hear them screaming finally she did wake up and she came in there and um they told her what happened and like and she felt like how hot it was like my grandma felt how hot it was in the room and then they went and then they were yelling like um, it's gonna get Crystal, it's gonna get Crystal, and Crystal was my other aunt, she was a baby at the time, and she actually shared the room too, and, um, so my grandma goes to pick up Crystal, and she's, like, ice cold, but the room's, like, burning up, like, burn is hot, and so my grandpa gets up, and he takes the Ouija board, and he throws it outside, and basically tells him, like, Do, don't ever, ever, ever bring that into my house again. Uh, they didn't have any weird things happen after that, after he, like, threw out the Ouija board and stuff. Um, but that was one really creepy thing that happened. So, I would say not go mess with Ouija boards. So, I hope you guys liked this. Uh, I know I kind of probably sped through it because I'm a fast talker. But I hope you really enjoyed it. These are actual stories. Now, I don't know if I had the aunts and uncles right. <laughs> I know my uncle, I know all that stuff happened to my uncle. And I know the one happened to my Aunt Belle, it's just the Ouija board story. The Ouija board story is the one that I'm not sure they had the right people with. Um, but I know it really happened and it really freaked them out. And I don't know, I feel like my family has histories with like paranormal stuff. Now I personally don't and I'm okay with that. Completely okay with that. But a lot of my family members have um, experienced stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this second paranormal video of mine. Um, I think I have a few more stories that I could do. And then after that, I might just start telling other people's um, paranormal stories for you guys. Because I think that would be really, really fun. Because I love paranormal. So <laughs> seriously, though, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe. And leave a comment. Tell me about your paranormal stories. I would love to hear it. I would love to share your paranormal stories with other people. Um, share them on my channel. That would be amazing. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for my next video. Bye, guys. See you later. Remus. Go get your bone.